Okay, this time I am already set up. I have already taped my hinge and I'm going to show you how to make a mono print. So a mono print is a little different than a mono type because it uses something that can be reused that you can use for other multiple prints. So in this case, we are going to be starting to explore our stencils and masks again in correlation with printmaking. So we're going to be making mono prints, which make use of a stamp or a stencil or a mask that can be reused to make another print. So there's something in common with my prints. So I wanna make a couple of prints with my stencils and masks. So first I'm going to apply a thin coat of paint on here. Roll that paint all over your plate. Again, you can do this as completely as you want, or you can leave some spots sort of splotchy if you'd like. Play and explore. Flip, burnish, pull your print. Now I need a next color. Roll it out. Now I'm going to use a stencil or a mask, but first I wanna roll all my paint everywhere because I'm not sure exactly where I'm putting it yet. If you want, you can mix in another color or stick with just one color as you explore the first time. It's up to you. Okay, roll off your excess. All right, so now I'm going to grab, I'm gonna start with a mask and a stencil. Let's see what happens if I do both. So I'm gonna put this guy down here and this guy over here. Let's see how we like that. We're gonna have this straight edge through here, but that's okay. One thing you have to watch out for is when you flip your paper, if this gets in the way. So if that's the case, if you have a stencil that's a little bit bigger, just try to tuck it underneath, okay? I'm gonna flip this now to print and we're gonna see how the mask hides the red pink and I won't see that. And the stencil reveals it through here, but blocks around it. So here we go, burnish this and pull a print. Look how cool that is. I love those shapes together, loving the colors together too. So look at that, the orange actually dried pretty well. I didn't even transfer too much back to my stencil and mask. Sometimes you'll have a lot of paint uh, print back if you use a lot of paint. So try to keep your layers thin rather than too thick. Now I'm gonna take this off, take this off. We don't want to get the paint on our table. So make sure you try to keep the painted side up or put it on your scrap paper. Oh, um, on your placemat, something like that. Okay, we have all this extra paint on here. I'm going to print that off onto my scrap and see what I get there. Let's see, let's do it a little different. Let's go with diagonal. Because sometimes you get a really cool print from that ghost print. Try not to let your scrap paper touch your good paper. See, I'm holding it here because I don't want to um, print into my margin over there. You can see that design there. Now, if you still have a little more paint on there, you can absolutely lift more off. But sometimes I like to see what I can get from my ghost print first. There we go. Now I'd like to do one more thing over this and I think I am going to um, do a little, little bird stencil here. Um, let's see, should I go that way with it? It kind of fits nice, that could be kind of fun. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna roll that out, spread it out really good. I don't want it too thick and too gloppy. So make sure you spread it out and roll it more than you think you need to. If it's too gloppy, it might ooze underneath and I might not get a crisp line from my stencil that I'm gonna use. I think that looks really nice and smooth and even now. So now I'm going to roll off the extra from my brayer onto my scrap first. Move that aside. All right. I'm gonna lay my stencil in the middle here because I like it like this. You can use a bigger one, obviously, and mask off even more, but I think I'm gonna like having this little border around the edge, so I think that would be cool. Here we go, wish me luck. All right, I can't wait to pull the print. That is so cool, loving that. So that is how you use stencils and masks with a jelly plate to make a mono print in this case. So now I can continue printing and take this off. You have to be very careful once your stencil is really, really wet with paint, it needs to dry. Um, we can reuse them. However, 
it might the, the paint might transfer again which is kind of cool because it kind of comes up with some interesting colors you may not expect all the time but let that dry a little bit first and take this off write your name on what you want to be the bottom right of the print so i'm actually going to write my name here in this case Carefully peel off that tape. Remember to get it started from the back. Try to get it at a 90 degree angle as you slowly pull away. Boom. Beautiful. Now I'm going to reuse these stencils and masks and print a different type of arrangement to show that I'm using those same stencils again. Be tough for me to tuck this under so I'm just temporarily going to fold that over so I don't get too much paint on my good paper. All right so I have made a second mono print using the same stencils as my first and getting a very, very different effect, of course, very, di very different look. I could keep adding to this if I want to, or I can call that done and write my name on this one. You get the idea. So clean the plate off, let somebody else have a churn and have fun.